Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here with... Ready. And... Charlie, are you here? He's not talking now. He was nope. talking earlier. He's looking at his butt. Charlie, don't make your stuff in front of the mom. Thank you. <laughs> he was all happy last night because he got to sleep with his mom all night. But I woke up, right, Charlie? I woke up in the middle of the night. And he is in right smack dab in the middle of the bed. And he's a very big dog. And I'm hanging off the edge. Yes, I was hanging off the edge, Charlie. I know. I love you, too. And it's like, hello, help. Where are you going, dog? <laughs> he's right here being silly. Um, so I had to, you know, and if you wake him up and you ask him to move over, he moves over like a half an inch at a time. <laughs> right, Charlie? Right, Nixie? Oh, are you all better now? Okay. Sometimes I can hear him say, I moved over last time, it's your turn. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, wow. And then what? What happened then? Charlie. Really? Are you jealous because your sister is over here? Oh, now you're going to, you're going to. So rude. You just spiked the baby. You just spiked your baby? Okay, now I'm trying to talk to these people. I don't want to talk to you right now. Charlie? Not working. Dad can imitate with a, with a pepto bismol bottle. <laughs> okay. You guys will all be fascinated. I know. Hold on to your britches. Get your coffee. Get settled in. And tell you this fascinating story, okay? Don't look at my hair. <laughs> I need to wash my hair tonight. Okay, anyway. We have a pink squirt bottle. And Charlie knows we pick up a squirt bottle. That if you keep barking, he will get squirt. He will get squirted. He's not afraid of the water or anything because of it. So that that's how we get him to quit. Well, sometimes <laughs> we don't know where pink squirt bottle is. So I will pick up the Pepto Bismol bottle because usually one of us has got a stomach up that normally it's him, and he will he will act like he has a trigger on it. It it works. We'll get him to quit. All so in the delivery. Yeah. So um, I just wanted to come on here and chit chat with y'all. Okay? Is that okay? I know the lighting's horrible. Well, there's a lot of light in this room right now, and it's all natural. A beautiful day out. I already sat outside for a little bit while I, while the puppies were doing their business. It's that nice out. It is. Let's do the weather report. It is Thursday. February 25th, by the way. It is 61, glorious, beautiful, awesome, oh, 62 degrees out right now. And it's beautiful. Feels like 62. The high today be 63. The low tonight be 36. Only 10% chance of rain. Humidity is at 40%. The wind is 10 miles per hour from the northeast. Sunrise was at 646. Sunset will be at 6. 3 p.m. And then tomorrow is, of course, because we have errands to run, is rain. 90% chance, honey. That sounds about right. Isn't that funny? Yes, it We is. have some errands, maybe, that will be running tomorrow. Um, you know, depending on if his pension comes in or not. But, uh, ow! The phone fell down and hurt my leg. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those days. But um, I haven't had any coffee yet. I just had finished up my last night's hot chocolate. I'm that kind of a person. So anyway, um, didn't really do too much after I I got I did my video with you guys as far as cleaning and stuff. I folded laundry. Brad brought it out. Even though it's, uh, I have trouble with stuff that's, um, like, heavy and stuff. You know, the exertion. And so I'm trying to be very careful, you know, because uh, I don't want to have a heart attack or whatever. So, um. 
I don't want you to have a heart attack. No, I can think of better things to do. Yeah. Uh, so Brad, it, you know, the laundry basket's quite heavy, even though it's on wheels. So he brings it out for me, and I can sit here in full laundry, you know, and then he'll wheel it back in the bedroom. So um, everything's kind of a mess right now still because, um, you know, we don't have his bedroom set up. So, and then he found a bunch more of his clothes. And so I, we laundered them. And then, uh, so we don't really have, we've got to set up his clothing better. Um, so stuff is kind of a mess in my, in what's my room. And, um, so we're going to go into today. The only thing I really need to do is, well, I promised him I'd make some French toast today. And also then I need to clean our, our bathroom. And um, then I'm going to go in with him and work in that first bedroom. Um, because there's some of my art stuff in there that was broken. The totes were broken by the movers. So I have a couple other totes that are almost empty that, I need to, I need to be in there to divide up my craft stuff, because if it's yarn and stuff, it goes in that closet, but for now, um, and then, uh, get more stuff going, I mean, get that room set up, so we're hoping that by tomorrow night, or Saturday, that we will have his bed set up, which would be really nice. So, that's what we're working on today, is that. I'm going to do a little bit of diamond painting. Um, I haven't been working on it as much as other times, of course. But, this is what, I have it about half done so far. So, I have all this done. So, yeah. See, I kind of like the pixelated look, so, yeah. This is, he'll be in his bathroom, so. And it, I know it's been kind of slow going, so, um, you know, we bought the stuff for the second bathroom, which is a full bathroom also. So we put the curved uh, shower curtain rod. I lucked out, found that on Amazon.com. Sometimes they have clearance that it was $13 for that, and normally those run about 40 and this is kind of antique copper look. We have a set of, of hooks that is all on a board, and they are all that antique copper uh, too. So I told Brad, I said that would be nice instead of the towel bar, or in addition to, um, you know, for in there, that'd be very nice. So, um, but he can set that up how he wants. We already bought the. The different shower head, the, you know, that has the wand, because that's what we really like. And if you buy one of those, if you're using it to even wash, to even do children or pets or just yourself, go ahead and buy an extra long ho hose for the, that wand. They make them like 10, 10 feet was 9.9 .9 inches and, or feet, 9.9 .9 feet, right? Yeah. And that makes it, that just the extra links makes it ever so nice. Yeah. It really does, you know. So if you're spraying yourself off and you want to get up, uh, you know, in, under your, your undercarriage area <laughs> and, uh, or your, uh, say you're um, a bathing small, ch you know, children, you need to have the extra links to be able to rinse their, their little heads off, you know, or if you bathe your animals in your, in their, in, Numerous things like that really makes a big difference. So, but we bought stuff. We bought a shower bench for that one also. So we bought stuff, and I already have a, a nice new shower curtain in that is one he really likes. And so, yeah, we're going to get that set up. That'll be nice, you know, because, uh, you know, we'll have two full, we'll have the two full bathrooms going and, and, uh, um, Right, hon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Brad's feeling okay today. He's in some pain, but he's all, oh, we in some pain. But I tell you what, we're really wondering. He it brought it up initially that he thought maybe perhaps he might have MS. 
and we've been looking into it and it's like called like the late onset MS. MS usually um, statistically will show itself between the ages of 20 and 40 but for some people it's ages 50 and, and above and that one is called the late onset uh, MS and tell you what he has almost all of the symptoms so um, you know he's really wondering aren't you and um, I'm really wondering if that might be what he has or something that is very very similar to it uh, so um, I can't wait till the third I keep telling him because he's been in so much pain lately as hey we got this you know now you have six days honey very cool. You yeah. know, and we're going to sit down and kind of write out a timeline of because they're going to ask, well, when did you, you know, start using a cane? When did you have to start using two canes? When did you have to start using the walker? And also about all the different symptoms because Brad and I are kind of bad, especially Brad got white coat syndrome. And basically you get in there and you don't want to be in there and basically you want to say, yep, every, I'm fine, let's go. You know, and uh, then you get home and you're like, oh, I wish I would have talked to him about this or I just remembered that. So, you know, I find it helps to have kind of notes on hand. Sometimes I hand the notes directly to the doctor. He can scan, do it, scan through it real fast and, you know, so we're going to get you some help, honey. I'm excited about that. Mm hmm Because what's wrong with the pain? Hello. Oh, uh, yeah, and Stomach trouble again. That's one of the things. He has, you're having a lot of stomach trouble. And um, that, you know, and um, slurred speech and, and at times and stuff. So um, we'll see. I'm anxious to get the ball rolling for him. Oh, the endocrinologist's office called. This morning, and uh, so we set that up for in March. So far, we have four appointments in March. One is for him. I'm sure we're going to have a lot more. And then I've got a couple others. You know, I've got one in May and one in June so far. I have a piece of paper that I write down all the appointments, and then I just put them in my phone too. Because I told Brad, I said, God forbid I lose this piece of paper because, you know. <laughs> You know and how it is, too, is somebody calls and they're giving you information and you have to hunt like crazy for a pen. And you're like, you know, I know I have like 20 million pens, but can I find one? And if I find one, will it write? You know, so. It's such a nice day out and stuff. You know. But one thing I want to talk about is keeping it, keeping it positive. And that can be really hard, basically like with Brad when he's dealing with so much pain. But I find that in life, if especially with medical challenges, if you could face them with a lot of positivity, a lot of times, it, to me, it makes a difference on how well I heal. You know, if I go in there and I'm really bemoaning, like, say, a dental procedure, and I'm sure it's going to hurt, and I'm sure that, you know, that they're not going to numb me up, and I'm sure about this, then I'm probably going to have a really crappy time and a really crappy experience. The last time I went in to have all my extractions done except for the four teeth on the front top, when I have some teeth left on the bottom, I have a bridge on the bottom, a partial. But anyway, I decided I was going to go in there, and I was going to not be all anxious, and I was going to rock it. I had them laughing because, you know, they got my mouth all stuffed full, and every so often they take a little break and let me have a bathroom break and stuff, and, you know, I would say something, you know, it, that was funny, and, and, you know, we had a good time. It was really hard at different points in time, but, you know, she was great. She kept me numbed up and all that. So, uh, keeping things positive for yourself and if you're around somebody who is having a health challenge keep things positive for them even if it's terminal because 
do you want your last times with them to be something negative? Because I, I know I don't. You know, I don't want to remember so and so, you know, in a in a, a painful memory. I mean that's it's hard enough. Heck, Brad's grandma died I don't know how long ago and we still sit around and cry about that. And there's certain people you're just never going to get over. You know, I know my friend Joe lost her husband in a in a horrific car wreck. You know, totally never saw that coming at all. And, it, you know, he was rear-ended. He was at a standstill and he was rear-ended. And this guy was going fast. And from what they say, you know, it was instant. But... Can you imagine? I mean, and I know this happens all the time, but you're sitting at home waiting for your spouse, you know, or a loved one to, to arrive home and then realize that, you know, hey, something. She knew. She just, somehow she just knew because she had, you know, kind of a tracker on his cell phone and she was, was you know, waiting for him to come home and, and stuff. And then she noticed that his, on the tracker, it wasn't changing it. She told her, her son, she's like, you think something's happened to your dad? Go and find out. So they went down to where it was tracking, and, and that's when they found out. But, um. I was, I was upset because we had spent those several days uh, with them when we got to know him. Um, during, uh, I don't remember which hurricane yeah. it was. Yeah. Was that crazy, Irma? I don't know, baby. Yeah. But anyway, um, you know, I was so looking forward to after mm -hmm. after that time. Um, I was so looking forward to us going fishing and shooting and just. Oh yeah, I mean, know. oh God, we had such a good time with them and yeah. hooting, hollering, and it was just, it was like Brad and and his name was Bob, like they had known each other forever, yeah. and they were running all over town and. Hanging out, and I was hanging out with Joe. That's her name, and and uh, uh, you know, we had a great time. Yeah. And I, I, she was just somebody I had uh, that was a subscriber and um, reached out to us during this hurricane because we, you know, we had no place to go, and and I think I really surprised her when I said yes. And yeah, we'd never met her or anything. We loaded up the the. The dogs and the cat, now get this, and we still had Missy at that point in time. Uh, they had no pets, and but they let our dogs in that house. And then my friend Joe is afraid of cats and even let the cat in the carrier in, in that stuff. And, I mean, they were so wonderful. And we yeah. all had plans that we were going to hang out together. And stuff. they were planning on they were planning on a little vacation to come and see us, and you know, she let me know I was happened to be up painting the art studio when I text, um, and you know it happened that and, and at first I thought right, and then you know when she said you know that he was dead, and I thought she's mad he did something now, you know. And thank you, honey. And um, uh, then I thought, no, she wouldn't joke about that, you know. And but yeah, I mean, you got to keep positive because you never know. I mean, you want your last memories with somebody to be, you know, a real, you know, life is hard enough. Yeah. Without having it be, you know, so negative I grew up in a negative household mm -hmm. you just know people that are always going to be negative about stuff well I'm sorry Go ahead. you know and that's what there are um, some people that have passed on that um, your grandfather yeah that, sud uh, suddenly passed away on a I'm not going to go into what medical procedure, but a common medical procedure. Yeah. But, you know, there's so many people that have passed away in, in our life and my life that I have 
so many regrets because I uh, didn't get to see him one last time. Yeah. You know, and... Um, you okay, sweetie? Yeah. Think about Grandma. I know. We, grandma makes us cry all the time, both of us. We... That woman... With the most phenomenal woman. You'd hold her hand and you were at peace with everything. And I, you know, she took to me right away. And she was not real fond of females. But she took to me right away. And... Like it's what I was talking about. Some deaths you never get over. Some some time you're never going to have enough time with that person. And Grandma was one of them. She was a phenomenal woman. Not too long ago, we had a family member that was kind of talking ill about her. And you know, Brad said them straight real quick about that wasn't somewhere you ever wanted to go. Not not about grandma, no. You know. And I realize that, you know, many people have different rate relationships with the same person. But, you know, like I said, his grandmother I would love to sit and get to rub her hands one more time. I really would. You're never going to have enough years or time, you know. I'm glad that she's not alive though right now because if she saw what's been happening with you, yeah, it would just kill her. Yeah. Well, I know that we and Teresa have told this story before. But, um, you didn't tell it again. Yep. Yeah, I was adopted on my dad's side. And, uh, pretty much that whole side of the family treated me like I was the bastard stepchild. Except for grandma. Yeah. And, um, when, uh, those last few days when she was in the hospital, when I came in the hospital, when I came up to visit her, if there was anybody in the room sitting by her chair, she would make them move because she wanted me to sit there. Yeah, but remember when she got she got put in the hospital because she was she had an, an electric, you know, wheelchair, and she was in an assisted living place. She went to get her mail, and she dropped a piece of mail, and she went and leaned over the side of this scooter and fell and had she broke her leg I, you know, I don't remember but anyway she got taken up to the hospital and everybody was having a hard time and now this woman is a very nice woman but she did not want to be there she also would tell you how it is and the only person that could get her to calm down and and, and and do what they wanted with Brad. I think that's when your dad called and said he needed to have you come up there. Uh -huh. Because nobody else could. And Brad could walk in a room and talk to her for a couple minutes. And she would agree to let him like take her down to do more imaging. As long as he would be up there in that room when she came back. Yeah, I had to promise that I would yep. be there. And... Um, But, you know, just that's one for us. That's one person that will never get over. I was so blessed to get to know her, and but I sure wished I'd had a lot more time. Now with grandfather, I only got to meet the one time. You know, so. Um, but anyway, my whole thing was to keep yourself positive. Keep, and if you're um, a family member or something, keep 
keep being positive around that person, even if they're terminal and stuff, because that helps so much. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. you think about your your loved one, they're scared. And, you know, they need to have you there. You may feel like maybe you don't want to be there because you don't know what to say. Well, you don't even necessarily have to say anything, just being there. You don't know what to say to that person. Just walk up and give them a hug. You know, and just say, I'm here. You know, because that's what we all need. I sure wish we had any family members to be just to reassure us, you know. Because I'll admit, we're both scared right now. You know, um, I want them to start doing testing on Brad and get, you know, Let's find out what he has so we can learn about it. We can educate ourselves and we can fight this thing head on. You know, you tell us what therapies there are, what can be done. Something has got to be done about his pain because it's making it hard for him to function. You know, when he wakes up and he would really like to cry because he's in so much pain, you know. And in order to control his pain, then... He is drug out so much he can't really function. So, I know there's probably a lot of you guys out there like that. Or maybe you're in a lot of pain. Maybe you're alone. But I want you to know that we care. And you can always reach out. Brad reads all the comments to me and then he answers. So, you can reach out, you know. And, um, we'll, you know, we'll cheer you on, you cheer us on. You know? You don't even have to have pom-poms. But that would be kind of nice if you had pom-poms. Right, honey? I want to get those little spin wheel things. He wants to get those those little spin. I bet they have them at Dollar Tree right now. Probably. And he wants to lean out the window and, and, and do the wee, 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 wee. Maxwell. Is that what his name is? It was Maxwell, yes. yeah. Yeah. And so. I want to... Um, um, what did it happen to him? Oh, we don't have cable, so. No. Huh. It was, it, those commercials ran its course, and then they it were was, cute, though. yeah. Kind of like, there for a while they had the Budweiser, and it was a frog. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I want to get some of those pinwheels, and I want to, uh, um, attach them to my wheelchair. My wheelchair and my walker. So, when I'm running through the streets, the pinwheels will look like I'm ready. To I want to put tassels on your walker. Remember we talked about we were going to start seasonally decorating your walker? You know, and you had all this whole plan about about battery-operated Christmas lights and, yeah. you know. Oh, we got them. Yes, we do. Yeah, and then... Um, That's what I wanted to tell you guys about these. They were hanging up, you know, and they got this. I'm not going to plan anything in here, but I have Battery operated fairy lights, a real real long strand. It's made to look almost kinda like hair. And I'm gonna put these in here. You know, I have two sets actually. So I'll put one set in here and then make sure we have the solar panel positioned where, you know, it'll get maximum. So yeah, so it'll be kinda neat. It'll mm -hmm. look like they have a bit of hair or something flowing out of the top of them. Yeah. But anyway, just stay positive. I know a lot of you guys are going through a lot of really hard stuff. We're always here to listen. Just because we're going through some stuff doesn't mean we don't care about what you're going through. Yeah. You know, nothing is so overwhelming that we can't be there for a friend. Yeah. Um, you know, so that's all we can do. But I just wanted to come on here, I don't know, and say hi to you guys and go, Hey, you guys got your coffee. I was, Let's see I, how was this coffee is. I was a little surprised when uh, you said you're going to make a video. Yeah, this morning. I'm uploading one. Well, you'll see it by the time. Because what I'm going to do now, this will work out really well, is I did a video yesterday, but I didn't upload it. So I'm uploading it right now. It's probably already finished. And then, so I'll always, you'll always see my videos you, the day before. And I think that'll be nice. The day after. The day after. Yeah, okay. Something like that. Yep, that's good coffee. 
Oh, that's really good. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get off here. What I do every morning is I do a little bit of diamond painting. And I'll sit and I'll chit chat with Brad and we'll kind of plan out our day and our menu and all that kind of stuff. And then we get to work. Um, I'm going to, when I get off of here, honey, after I do a little bit of diamond painting, I am going to, before I, I step in the room, uh -huh. I'm going to do the dishes. Okay. And um, then our, the menu for today is we're having bacon and French toast. Bacon. And, and that's, you know, a, a carb-heavy meal, but it's okay because it's basically kind of our first meal. Well, we had a light breakfast because we're not big breakfast eaters first thing in the morning, so, you know. And then tonight, we had some chicken tenders. We're just going to have leftovers, basically. You know. Might. I might have a salad with... Is that what you were thinking, too? Like an imitation Zaspi salad. Yeah, you are... So smart. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's what we'll do. We'll have just have salads for dinner, and that'll be good. That'll be good. We're trying to get our A one C down, and 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 all of that. We're trying to get that cholesterol down. Um, you know. So that's what we got going on. Anything you want to say, hon? No. Uh -uh. No. -uh. Uh -uh. So anyway, remember we love you guys. We do cherish your friendship so very much. And we think you guys are awesome. And hang in there. Together we can do this. We can do this. We're all fighters, okay? You might think you're weak, but you got to be however old you are. And you didn't, you don't get through life without having to fight and struggle and stuff. So, yeah. you know, and Brad, you hear the rattling. Brad every morning likes to have iced coffee, so. And I use the... We never go through a whole pot anymore. Mm -mm. So I've got a I've got a uh, jug that I fill with the leftover coffee mm -hmm. and put that in the fridge. And yep. So then, when he's making my coffee, he makes himself iced coffee. Mm -hmm. So okay, well, say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. I'm sorry. <laughs>